You're known for helping petite women. Yes, and being a dressed. petite yeah. myself. And you look fabulous. Doesn't she look great in this outfit? So Power suits for international power, uh, women's that's day. That's right, that's <laughs> right. So a petite is considered 5'3 and under. That's right, Marilyn. Okay. Yes, yes. And, and there's do's and don'ts, and I know we're going to talk about that. For but sure. You but you, you wanted to mention, too, that a lot of stores do not carry. Still don't carry enough yeah, petite yeah. options. I yeah. mean, it's really funny to me because I think petite women actually outnumber women who are on the very tall scale. Uh -huh. um, however, like, the the brands and the, you know, they still go with those very traditional model um, sizing. Right. So this is why I wanted to tackle it again today. I mean, it's such a hot topic. So many of our viewers write in asking yes, for this. They do. And I think that having the visual side-by-side -side comparison mm -hmm. of the do's and the don'ts really allows you to see when you're shopping, okay, I see something like that, but yeah. that's better Mom's for me. voice will be in your head. <laughs> okay, let's yes. talk about do's and don'ts. The don'ts for blouses, jackets, and trousers. Yes, I should just mention, though, yeah. that these don'ts are only don'ts for petites. Yeah. These are still fabulous options. Fabulous. So if you have this at home, ladies and gentlemen, do not worry. Um, but it's so funny, because I am wearing the do's of this jacket. So let's start with the jacket as okay. well. So this is a very, very oversized style. As you can see where it hits me, yeah. um, side by side comparison. So, you know, when you're doing these oversized boyfriend blazers, if the darting and the shoulders are hitting you in the right place, but it's kind of still a little bit baggy, mm -hmm. sure, do it an intentional oversized look. But when these things are kind of out of place, it looks like you just shopped a size too big, you yes, know? Yes. And then it looks very sloppy. So this is something that's really important because these boyfriends blazers are everywhere right now. So you now. want to make sure that this fits. Is Shoulder here. fits Shoulders correct. There. The darting is correct. It's right where it should be. You know, yeah. And, yeah. and still you're still seeing some of yeah. your figure because that's very important. Now moving on to blouses. Yeah. A lot of these beautiful waterfall kind of necklines, you know, the mock necks are also very in style. If you're going for something that is a high neck, I suggest doing something that's a little bit more tighter fitting to the body. Like a tight turtleneck. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah. then we can still see your silhouette. Definition. Exactly. Okay, got it. So this, you know, kind of goes all over the place. It looks sloppy and in terms of the trouser mm -hmm. I love these paper bag style trousers. I see them on the runway. I'm like, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. But then on me, it's like, it looks like a sack that was just gathered at the stomach and it doesn't look right. So that's a no. Instead, that's a go, no. Instead, go for something way more tailored to fit. Sure, sure. Yeah. And what about the shoes? The shoes. Okay, I put in a kitten heel here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think that petite gals, if you want to rock a kitten heel, go ahead, but make sure you have a cropped kind of pant or something like a, a skirt that hits mm -hmm. you above the knee. If you are going to wear pants, however, uh, that's right down to the floor. A kitten heel is going to look a little bit like you're all, like still wearing flats, basically. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's see how Petite can wear these pieces on Lisa. <laughs> Very cute. Yeah, that's that pant. That's the pant. That's that tapered pant. I yes. think that makes all the difference. So where do you want to begin? I want to start with the jacket. Sure. So a jacket is actually a cropped style. Again, if it's at the waist or just tiny bit after like the one on Lisa, it's going to be a perfect fit for us. In terms of the blouse, a V-neck is always a great option for petites. So again, you can do the playing with those proportions, but again, you want to create that balance. And notice how I also picked kind of a pattern pant on the bottom, but it looks so much better on her because mm -hmm. it is tailored. It's a high waist, cinch it in with a great belt. Belts are a petite a girl's best friend. A little tuck in <laughs> on the shirt? Yes, definitely yeah. a tuck yeah, in for right. sure. Okay. Um, again, showing off that waist. And then I created presence. So showing a little bit of skin, brought up the sleeves, mm -hmm. showed a little bit of skin with the booties, because mm -hmm. again, that has that elongating effect. <laughs> so, hey, Lisa, thank you. You look fantastic. You love it? I love it. I love it. So good. Yeah. Petite don'ts for dresses and coats. Do yes. tell us. Okay, so we're seeing a lot of these like prairie girl dresses, Marilyn, in the stores, on the blogs, on the Instagram, but they don't look right on us because as you can see, they're smocked, so they, they're kind of like tent-like, and um, they usually go to the mid-calf or the ankle on a tall person, so on mm. us, it's like, you know, mm -hmm. floor length. Um, so again, this is not the right, you know, choice for us. We need something a little bit more tailored, and I think sometimes petite gals think, oh, if it's just shorter, it'll be fine. But I want to talk about um, the torso. That is also a really important okay. thing. Mm -hmm. If you find a dress like this that has kind of these banding and it's a little bit more voluminous on the top and then tighter fitting, you have to make sure that the torso that fits you in the proper place. This is an empire waist. So it's got to be right where exactly. it's at, right? And this is actually one of the most expensive alterations to do to lift the, the skirt okay. up. So save money, ladies. 
and just buy it the right way first, you yeah, know? Yeah, Something yeah. that's a little bit better for your proportions. Right, right, right. Tell me about this, because I love this. Why can't? It's beautiful, but again, it's the cocoon style. It just it doesn't have all the darting and the things that we right, need as right. a petite gal mm -hmm. to really show off our waistline. That is so key. And then shoes. Shoes, okay. I've chose these ones because, as mm -hmm. you can see, the strap mm -hmm. is right uh, along our top of, uh, of our foot, and it's really thick, and there's a buckle there. And again, we want to create the elongating effect. Yeah, right, so right. It cuts us our foot off, and that's not what we want. All right, so let's see how we can wear these p uh, key pieces on. Selena, come on in, Selena. <laughs> All right. So I, I want to go first to the dress because yes. that, that that is a rockin' dress. Okay. It is a yeah. rockin' dress. Yeah. So she's rocking it. Yeah. Um, so yeah. this dress is from the petite section of Evernew. So when we were shopping, ah, we found yeah. this one. Again, ladies, look for those petite sections in the stores. They are your best friend. They already have all the alterations ready for you. And this, as you can see, the torso is perfect. It's right, just right under is. her bust. Mm -hmm. This is what we want. The cascading fabric is so beautiful and flattering. And then it has a bit of movement. And that's what we want as a petite gal as well. A little bit of movement allows us to, you know, kind of bring interest to our body, mm -hmm. places that we don't want them to see, which is our height. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Um, so again, a shorter hem length, which is correct. This is obviously more of like a, an evening look. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't recommend this dress for the office, but you know, if she's going out on a date night or out with their girls, this is a perfect look. Fun. It's fun. Exactly. And then in terms of the trench coat, see how the trench coat has all of the beautiful piping yeah. and the, the shoulders are correct placement. I just cinched the belt in the back, turn around, hun. And as you can see, this can be brought into the front and just, again, creating even more of an hourglass. Mm -hmm. Everything is perfect for her fit. Mm -hmm. It's at the right hem length. And I chose a solid color because because prints sometimes also engulf us. A yeah, very, very yeah. busy yeah, print in a coat. That. That's yes. like a watercolor print It's to a me. beautiful, yeah. you know, soft yeah. blush yeah. pink. Yeah. And then, again, the small purse yeah. size with the mm -hmm. top handle. And then notice the difference of the shoes. So I chose, again, a strap shoe, but the thin strap is just so much more delicate and mm -hmm. beautiful it's on a softer. petite foot. It's not black, you know? Exactly. Because that then, can cut you off. Totally. And yeah. if it had a thick strap, it wouldn't have the same effect. Well, I love this look so much. All right, <laughs> come on out, Lisa. Those are your petite looks. There you go. Go right, right by her. Go right over there. Let's look at all the three beautiful petite women. All right, thank you to Mon. A great loss. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. Yeah.